When I first thought about doing yoga, my first thought on how people were is that everybody is skinny. I was worried that I wasn't going to fit in with the, the, the stereotype yoga person. And then I slowly started to realize and do my research that there are a lot of other people out there that aren't skinny, that do yoga, and that are very good at it. I've been overweight my whole life, ever since I was a kid. My dad owned a pizza restaurant. I didn't actually have an oven in my house until I was probably 15. So everything that I ate came from a restaurant. So as a kid, you know, I was always overweight. When I was 13, I was diagnosed with PCOS. Um, that's polycystic ovarian syndrome. So the biggest side effect of that is weight gain. So from high school until maybe my second year of undergrad, I had gained maybe 100 to 150 pounds. And then recently I also found out that I have hypothyroidism, which is another big side effect is weight gain. It's having those issues, I want to prove that, you know, I can do this even though everything's against me. When I started, I weighed about 410 pounds, 420. I didn't at first expect yoga to help me lose weight, but I have tried to tell people, yoga is the hardest thing that I do. It's the biggest workout for me. The last time I went to the doctor, my weight was between 285, 290, somewhere there. I've lost maybe a total of 120, 125 pounds. Yoga has taught me that you don't have to be one size to succeed in something to do something. It's definitely built a lot of self-confidence in myself. So I do think it's a big part of my weight loss and I kind of sprouted, you know, out of my little cocoon and I became able to just walk around with my chest held high because for a long time, no, I just wanted to not be seen. I wanted to wear bigger clothes and hide. So it overall has made me happy. I definitely deal with a lot of negative comments just in general about my weight. And people think that you have to be one size and if you're not, then you're not okay in society. I do believe that everybody should be healthy. That doesn't mean you have to be skinny. I believe in eating whole foods. I don't think you should restrict yourself from a food group. I think that anything in moderation is okay as long as it's, you know, natural. I just want to be happy and healthy for me so I can live longer and, you know, spend time with my family. Maria, she, as a teacher, as a yoga teacher, she's fantastic. You know, she uh, has taught me how to go deeper into my form. We both have PCOS, and I didn't really know a lot of people who had PCOS. And then she told me her story, and it, like, it motivated me, and she was an inspiration from them. And then we became friends, and she's been training me, teaching me how to eat better and all of that. I learned from Maria that I can do anything. It doesn't matter if I'm plus size, skinny. I can go beyond than I can imagine. I just have to try and have that leap of faith. There are teenage girls, uh, teenage boys out there too, that come to me and they're like, oh my God, I'm overweight, can you help me? Or, you know, I get bullied, can you help me? Do you have any advice for me? And these are people that, you know, 10 years ago I was them and I had nobody to help me. So being able to help those people, um, that's been my proudest moment. I just wish more people knew that it is possible, plus size people can get out there and make their lives healthier, can do yoga, can do Zumba, can you know do boxing, whatever they wanna do. A lot of people are surprised at what they can do. Yoga is the best thing that's probably ever happened to me. It's not just a hobby, it's allowed me to you know, open new doors that I never thought were possible for me.